Hi, this is Anand Bhatia and welcome to this edition of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us Adrian Yonal, your CEO of Mirantis, and we have some biggest story to talk about today. We're announcing today that we are acquiring the Docker Enterprise business, and which includes the Docker Enterprise platform, um, about 750 enterprise customers, and all the employees associated with the Docker Enterprise business, which is about 300. If you look at Docker Inc., it's a, it's a big company which is doing a lot of work in the open source space and uh, with the Docker, uh, and then uh, it has enterprise uh, offering as well. So I want to understand because there is a very tightly integrated chem chemistry. Uh, when you look at Docker, they also have Mobi project. They do a lot of work in the open source space and which touches, touches everything. So, so uh, when you look at Docker Enterprise Edition, what all, I mean, does it, you're talking about the entire Docker's business uh, or you're talking about just one unit of Docker's business, enterprise business? It is one unit of the Docker business. It's the, um, it's the vast majority of the Docker business, but not the only Docker business. And I can't speak about the future of Docker Inc. forward. There's a separate news release that's going out at the same time that I don't want to comment on. I'm going to let my friends at Docker comment on that. But what I can tell you is that Mirantis and Docker will collaborate upstream on core open source technologies that are relevant to the, to the joint customer base, to the Docker customer base and the Mirantis and Docker enterprise customer base. If you look at Mirantis's evolution, uh, it came from pure play open stack company to you know, a very big player in the cloud space. Uh, where does a Docker's enterprise business fit into uh, you know, Mirantis, you know, business today? It actually fits in perfectly. And this is exactly why we were so excited about the opportunity because Mirantis, as you might know, was very much headed towards a Kubernetes as a service product roadmap and vision, which we announced earlier this year. Uh, we see Kubernetes as the technology platform that's going to enable enterprises to build and run apps anywhere they want from public cloud to private cloud to hybrid and to edge. And this has been our number one development direction. Now, as it happens, Docker Enterprise Platform uh, very much uses also Kubernetes as part of the universal control plane. Many of the Docker customers use it and love it. And this is a tremendous accelerator for us towards the Kubernetes as a service vision for multi-cloud and hybrid use cases. And this is not the first company that uh, Mirantis has acquired. Uh, you have acquired companies before and you integrated. So will the product name change? How will the you know Mirantis offering look like? I, I don't know if it's too early to talk about that, but... We're actually keeping the Docker Enterprise platform name and we will double down on the development for the Docker Enterprise platform. One of the big attractors for us was the incredible quality of the Docker product development team. Uh, we do believe that Docker has some of the very, very best cloud native infrastructure developers on the planet. And that culture will mesh very well with the Mirantis product and, and software engineering culture. So we'll keep the product name and we will double down on the Docker enterprise platform becoming the standard for high velocity innovation and software development in a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud world. Because Docker also offers its own Swarm. What's going to happen there? Swarm versus mm -hmm. Kubernetes. Yes, we will continue to support Swarm. Um, in fact, what we've discovered in speaking with many of the Docker enterprise customers is that they, they love Swarm. Uh, while Swarm is not as feature rich as Kubernetes, it is rock solid. It's very easy and simple to use. So we will continue to support it and we will make it very, very easy or as easy as possible for customers to embrace Kubernetes or run Kubernetes in parallel with Swarm so that when they are ready to make the transition, they can make the transition, but they don't need to be feel pressured that their supports for Swarm will disappear. So do you have any commitment to continue to support uh, Swarm or it depends on where the market is heading? I believe we will support it for quite some time for the foreseeable future. Probably years would be my take. Perfect. And what does it actually mean, uh, this acquisition mean to uh, Docker customers as well as Mirantis customers? 
Well, for the Docker customers, it means that they will also receive some, some new and exciting things that they did not have access to before that Mirantis brings to the table. And I'll name um, at least two of them. One is uh, Mirantis has a unique uh, as a service model where we can deliver to customers not just the technology stack, which we do, but a um, white glove turnkey experience where the customer doesn't need to worry about running the technology, operating the technology, upgrading the technology. It's a high level of service offering which customers can access as an option and we will deliver that to them right away uh, if, if they want to have the Doc Enterprise platform delivered as a service as opposed to just having to system integrate and operate everything themselves. And many of the Doc Enterprise customers told us that this is what they want. The second thing that will change for Doc Enterprise customers is that we will accelerate the uh, Kubernetes development and investment. So Mirantis has a very significant bench of Kubernetes expertise and Kubernetes technology, in particular, some core and exciting technology about the lifecycle management of Kubernetes and the entire stack underneath down to the bare metal. So we will bring all of that into the Docker Enterprise platform and just give Docker Enterprise customers an even richer and more powerful um, Kubernetes stack as part of the universal control plane. So these are two very big things that we're bringing as, as new and exciting to the Docker Enterprise customer base. In addition to that, Mirantis has a proven enterprise business model uh, with robust stability. Um, so the company will have very significant scale with over 600 employees worldwide, a spectacular combined customer base. So the Doc Enterprise customers can actually be very, very excited to have a partner on their side who's committed to continuous innovation in the Kubernetes microservices and multi-cloud space and, and, and is there to stay for the long term. Right. Uh, as you said, you cannot comment on a lot of uh, other Docker offering. Like they have something called MTA, you know, uh, where they migrate existing applications, uh, just package a container. Uh, my question is that Docker also has a lot of partners and partnerships, uh, which might also overlap the, the enterprise business. So what will happen to those partnerships around uh, Docker enterprise teams? Yes. All the Docker Enterprise partnerships are part of the deal. So we are taking them over at, at Mirantis and actually we're extremely excited about many of them. In particular, the Microsoft partnership. Mirantis has in parallel developed a partnership with Microsoft. We are one of five certified companies globally to provide services and expertise around the Azure Kubernetes service, which as you can tell fits perfectly into our vision and strategy. And uh, Doc Enterprise has a very deep relationship with Microsoft, which we are inheriting as part of this uh, acquisition. So we're absolutely going to double down on that. Uh, we feel Microsoft is doing some spectacular work in the cloud space. Um, they have a huge development community on-prem. And this is something where we have some unique capabilities that nobody else nobody else in the market has. So if you're looking at VMware or IBM Red Hat as, as alternatives or, or competitors. Um, there are a host of other partnerships that, um, that Docker Enterprise has and all of them will, will come with us. And one in particular, if I can mention is, they have a very robust technology certification program with plugins. I think they've done a spectacular job of making sure that the Docker Enterprise platform runs and is certified on almost any infrastructure out there that you can imagine and uh, we will continue that and that is uh, definitely part of the appeal we have um, as, as part of this transaction. Perfect. Now if you look at Mirantis customers because Mirantis there is a Mirantis cloud platform is there and then you know your Kubernetes service platform is there. What does it mean to these customers? Well, what it means is a dramatic acceleration of our Kubernetes as a service vision. 
uh, which, because all of our Kubernetes as a service effort will fold or will merge together with the Docker Enterprise platform. And in fact, what we have discovered is that where Docker Enterprise platform was going was also towards more and more of a Kubernetes vision. So this will be just an accelerator and the entire Mirantis customer base will now have access to an incredibly robust battle-tested container platform that's based on open standards with a massive footprint uh, on public clouds uh, in the uh, Microsoft uh, ecosystem and also on-prem. So it's just a huge accelerator. Uh, we're also gaining um, access to core technology deep in the, in the container engine. We're gaining access to some terrific security technology. If you're looking at the Docker Trusted Registry, uh, which is used by the majority of the enterprise customers. So it's just all around a very, very compelling story for the existing Mirantis customer base. So one of the things that, you know, when we talk to companies, a lot of companies are still struggling to, to containerize their applications. Uh, they have legacy banks that are running like 100 years old. Uh, so one thing that Docker did good was MTA, where they, you can package your existing application without any refactoring and run as container and improvise over. And uh, you are acquiring that also as part of this acquisition. What do you think about MTA and what role does it play in, in, in digital transformation of, for companies? It definitely plays an important role. Um, where we hope to accelerate it is by using the deep professional services bench of Mirantis. And we can now scale it up. Um, Doc Enterprise was somewhat uh, constrained by the number of professional services people they had uh, direct access to. Uh, we have an almost an order of magnitude more. So we hope to be able to accelerate the MTA program where customers want it. One of the things that I can tell you that was extremely exciting to us that we discovered as we built a better and better relationship with Docker is just the tremendous um, depth of, of workloads, the, the size of workloads and the massive footprint that, uh, that people are actually using in production. Um, so some customers that we talked to had thousands of services uh, in production running on the Docker Enterprise platform. One customer in particular is spinning up 100,000 containers every day in a hybrid cloud configuration between on-prem and AWS um, on the Docker Enterprise platform and, and getting excellent results with very, very uh, little uh, support challenges. So the robustness of the platform and, and the level of, um, of scale um, at which some of the customers are using it has been surprising for us and, and very, very exciting. Adrian, thank you so much for uh, talking to you today. But I will look forward to actually seeing and meeting you in person uh, at some, some event and uh, sit down and talk again. Once again, thank you. My pleasure. Look forward to it as well. Bye-bye.